Who in the world is this? It's Sam. The same guy. He's been scouting me for like 30 minutes now. I'm pretty sure this guy was about to parachute off that hill into my base. This V group has been scouting me for like an hour. It's ridiculous. It's around four hours into Fresh Wipe on one of the largest servers in the sea region, and Gaz and I have decided to undertake the monumental task of trying to control the high quality quarry. But we had a little bit of a problem on our hands. A big clan built for military tunnels had other plans. They had already got TCs down around the quarry and in their eyes securing it for themselves. As you know, we are two bloody stubborn Aussie blokes and there was no chance in hell this was gonna stop us from throwing down our main base smack bang next to their tool cupboards and trying to take over the quarry for ourselves. Now, they obviously weren't gonna be too happy about this, but we really had no idea what we were getting ourselves into just yet. I feel like this guy's trying to make me talk so he can figure out what time zone I am. Call me tinfoil hat, but I think that's the go. Why you me, man? That's 100% what he's trying to do. V. This group lived next to military tunnels and we honestly didn't know much of anything about them at this point. We had never seen them before, but we would soon get well acquainted. And besides that, they had a bloody big base very early on into the wipe and they had taken first heli. Look, they've already got a hemp base down. He's definitely right in that. Is that? Oh yeah. yeah. They literally live out of the village. Like, oh, they got a village. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's what we're up against. So they started as a tower to watch yeah. the recycler at mail time. So it's a full village, and that's that would have been their TCs at HGRAM, and that's why they want us gone. Because HGRAM mm -hmm. quarry. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, we're in for it. Before we get off tonight, we need a HQM. Our we need a HGRAM our external TCs and put a lot of loot in them. Now, you best know we knew what was coming our way, so we did absolutely everything in our power to prepare for the worst case scenario. We were hell bent on keeping our spot next to the high core quarry, and well, they were determined we found somewhere new to live. And if we didn't, they would make us. Mini? I'm going roof. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm already close to roof. It's gone past. No, it's circling. It's thinking about it. Okay, we've actually got so many garage doors on right now. Like, our base is actually very strong right now. Plus the armoured wall as well. Yeah, this yeah. base is actually very strong right now. I'm just going to keep upgrading shit to metal, I think. Yep. Are you There's good? like a... No, there's a few of them on the top of the hill look, looking at our base and one suppressing at me. There's like three or four of them on the hill looking yep. at our base. I'm a little bit... Me oh, we might be getting raids. There's like, like six or seven of them. Oh, oh yeah, we got to be getting raids. There's like nine of them, dude. Yeah, yep, they're raiding. And they're funny. They're going roof? Yep. Got a gun on. They're going through garage doors, I believe. Okay, yeah, they are. Call. We got 50. We got some icon on me. Hold up. Don't come up, don't come up. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I put a garage door where they're blowing through. Okay. Making sh big door key lock. I've got a plan, I've got a plan. Yeah. I think they just put up the triangle ladder hatch. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I've got a good play. Ready. I've got to move shit in and loot back into the base more. Hold yeah. up. I got a. I locked one in, one of the sides. It's coming down toward you, sort of. Now. I'm in. 
Okay, yeah, they're, they're gonna be. Yeah, we gotta we gotta kill L and put tier two. Oh no, actually, we'll lock that. Got a trap. Take these. Two grenades. Yeah, I've got an idea. I can probably seal something up there with these grenades. Hold up, I'm gonna wait for him to shoot one, and then I'm gonna. Oh no. Wait, on the next one, I'm going to try something. Okay. I'm in TC room. That killed me through the wall. Sealed, 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 sealed. Sealed it. Nice. We're good, we're good. I'm on timer. Yep. I'm putting more doors down. Oh, we've lost our tier two now. Good repair off and everything. V honestly sort of caught us with our pants down here and we honestly got so lucky with this seal but I thought this would be the end of it and it was bloody early into wipe so surely they didn't have the resources and explosives to keep raiding us. Oh but I was so very wrong. This was only the beginning of an hour long siege raid with Gaz and I fighting tooth and nail to try and come out on top. Seconds. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna have enough to go through armored floor, to be honest. I'd be so surprised if they did. Especially after all of that. That was um, a lot that they just put in. Maybe get grab that bed out of there and chuck it in here. Because what's gonna happen, right? They're gonna blow. <coughs> They're going to three rocket that garage door, right? Keep coming in. Then they're gonna have to three rocket another garage door. And if. We get enough to you can like push out on the third rocket and insta place a shot front in front you get what i mean yeah and then i don't think they'll be able to do much seriously leave me alone keep talking why are you bullying me this is just cyber bully why cyber bully oh no bro i'm gonna spawn him with you what a Oh, I tried to time it with the only room with loot. You might want to upgrade. Do you have a, do you have HQ on you? Oh, what's bro? Uh, yeah. Give me, give me HQ. Okay. What? What? Come in here, come in here, come in here. Quick, 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 come in here. Where's the sheet door? I don't know, looking boxes, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I got one. I need a key lock. Okay, they're in. Let's run rock one rocket into the into that. Yeah. Close this. Okay, now we gotta hope that it takes them more than 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. These guys. Are you full HP? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, through the next one. Lost on that. Yeah. Okay, well, you first. You, you <laughs> stay in there. You here. stay in there. Do you have a grenade? That 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 hit this door. Oh yeah, it's splashing that door. We're going great. That hit this door. Oh, it's a shop run at it, we're good. Shop run at it, clean. Yeah. Okay, Kev, that garage oh. door on your right. Kev, that garage oh. door on... Yeah, it's, it's 3.39. We gotta repair these doors, man. I, need a... I don't think they know about the garage door to the left. Yeah, yeah he just tapped it. He just tapped it. No! This quick shot front placement here was our second big win of the raid, giving us a little bit more breathing room here, but you best bet if they had used this much boom, there was about zero chance they were giving up that easily. And we knew that. We really had two options, wait and slowly get raided or try and fight our way out of this detrimental situation. They had us down to a choke point with pretty much no way of fighting them. 
But Gaz and I are two veteran Rust players, and we had a few tricks up our sleeve that we would need to get out of this. We're gonna get some bags in here, man. Wait, 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 hold up. I'm thinking, make, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Make yourself a bag for in here. I'm not kidding. I could like, I could suicide in there and just throw grenades. How One above. Well, I opened that garage door. Oh uh, yeah. I could. Well, I think they just. We could swap. In. We could swap this with a garage door. So what we want to do? Somewhere, I'm pretty sure we have a flashbang. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> no, I get it. Imagine you can flashbang through the shop front, like you flashbang him, and I, I do Yeah, like I just, oh, that'd be sick. Okay, well, I, I'm gonna give it a go, man. Like, there's no heavy kits anywhere. Do you have any pistol bullets? Okay, okay, oh. okay. watch this. Oh, watch yeah. This. Look, yeah, yeah, that, I know. That swings yeah. into there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, hold up. Get out of the room, because they're gonna, they, they're gonna know what's up when I swing that. I gotta do this and I might die, okay? You gotta go for it. They pulled, they pulled it off! I'm, I'm making another one. Yeah, I know, I got another one right here. Okay, just put I, a key I, lock I, on I, it straight away. One. Key lock, yeah, yeah, just key yeah, lock yeah. it. I'm gonna, I'm right gonna, there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Okay, now go. Wait, let me close this. All right, what go the for it. Killed a couple. Killed a couple. Okay. There's still some. Still some. I'm gonna do it again. Got another tag. Got another one. No, steal it. Steal it. No. <laughs> 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 Open it, open it. Oh, wait. <laughs> Yo, guys, uh, Yo, guys, you just got the 10,000 IQ. The 10, the wait, IQ wait, should I break that and go? Oh, no, there's still some yeah. above. No, there's still... there's still a lot. Yeah. We could rotate it on that wall. Maybe it bl blasts a couple Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll oh, do that. One more here. One's in his body. Oh, yeah, I got him. I got him while he was in his body. He's dead. Tell me when to re put rotate this one. Yeah, yeah, there's a guy right, looting his body right now. There's a guy looting his body right now, right beside the door. Oh, did you get him? Yeah. Oh, you got him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the? Oh, what the happened? What the happened? That's our weapon. He's going for it. Get ready. Call it, call it, call it. Okay, you could probably kill me. I don't think he realizes, but that'll kill him if, if he's that close. Did it get him? Did you get hit marker? Yeah, yeah, I got a hit marker. I think you killed him. I can't really tell because he's like off frame. I feel like I can break I mean, and... I feel like I can play, break and place, dude. You want me to try? Like a, like a uh, ceiling. Oh, yeah. You, you try. Okay, grenade with I, your I door real quick. Thing. Yeah, nade, yeah. nade with your thing, and then I'll do it. Sending it in. Yep. Oh shit. <gasps> oh my god. I don't know, the fact that they're committing to this is wild to me, that they've used, like... The thing is, is, like, they're gonna be so disappointed when they see, like... A oh, box and rockets. <laughs> My question is how they have so much on work day, man. That's insane. That's why I think they're so much more than we think they are. Like, I think they have so many, like, just, like, farmers. It's like a community, it's like a village. I think they have, like, actual farmers who are probably out farming right now, and not even aware of this going on, not even caring. Well, I think we've still got a chance to win this, to be honest. I'm happy because we researched um, everything we needed to. If we could seal the next one, I think they're done. We'll see. I, I honestly we'll think see. if if we manage to seal the next one, I don't I don't think they keep going. Unless maybe they... The only reason why they're going to keep going is they're not in this for the loot and they're in it for like the legitimate just they want us gone. Yeah, well that's what I think they're fucking doing it for. I think they're doing it because yeah. they're built beside HQM. None of your business, of man. Your business, man. Can I have your lord? Can I have your lord? No, 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 no. no, no. How much? How much longer? I have how to go sleep. I have to go sleep. Dude, I think he. Dude, you know what? More no, 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 bro. I think this might be the best time to do it. They're all like sleeper up there. Like one guy's full AFK, and the other guy's just looking down here. What you need to do is yeah. you need to grenade the door, kill this close guy, and then flashbang it. Okay. 
No, I, I got go no, sleep. Please, God, I got go sleep. I got go sleep. And then you need to run into this room and shut the garage door after me. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Okay. Bro, I, ha, Bro how I, many shotgun trap? How many shotgun trap? Tell me when you're ready. Okay. Three. It's so a grenade then, flashbang. Tell me when flashbang. Flashbang. Flashbang's gone out. It's flashed him. Nah, they knew it. Can you get the door closed? Or Oh, oh, open that door, open that door. You might kill him. Oh, keep I doing it, keep like doing seven. it. I locked one in here. I locked two in here. Two in here. Two on the other side of that garage door where our bed is. Nice. Two stuck in there. Okay, AKK. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know what okay, you can okay. do. Maybe think about a flick. Think, think. Oh, turn that door I, I know in the loot room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know what to do. You got it. Goodbye. <laughs> Did you kill him? Don't open, don't open. Wait for me, wait for me. All don't dead, open. all dead, all dead, all dead. Okay, okay. They had AKs? Yeah, yeah, AK kits. <laughs> oh, AK, AK kit. Look, I got AK kit now. Dude, this is our time. This is it. We have to do it. We have to try and push something now. This is the uh, only time we're going to get. I think I might just push out and try and aim duel with the AK. What do you think? With so many being dead and them honestly looking like half awake at this point, we felt like it was really our only chance to try and make a push. We needed to get them out of our base and seal it up well before they had the chance to craft more rockets and come back with their full force. We only had a few doors left and it wouldn't be hard for them to raid us. We knew it was only a matter of time. Maybe we just double barrel it like that? Dude, they're barely even holding. There's one guy with an M39 and yeah, we can win this. I'm making a third one too, but I don't really... I don't think it'll make a difference. Yeah, I don't know. I think we leave this door open, to be honest. You yeah, hold in there. So can... Okay, hold you hold in there. Now. Here we go. One dead. Nice. Two dead. You wanna swap? Tell me if you wanna swap. I'm down, I'm down. One more. I can spawn in bag. Spawn in and just kit instantly and then we'll open it straight away. Yeah. As soon as you're like, met it up. Because you, you you can get kitted and healed up before they get back. Okay, you, you peek, you peek. Go for it. Maybe I'll pick up the barrel. Okay, dead. I'm picking up barrel. I can. Nice, sir. Oh, um, come back in. No, we're good, we're good. Okay, go, go. Okay, I'm meeting, 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 going. Wait. Wait, 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 no, no. No, no more, no more. Go, go. One dead, two dead. I can't Hold it out. Just jump, Boost jump, move, head. move, 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 move. I'm up. Kill another one. Go on, roof. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Not on roof with an AK, I think. No, Tommy, see, roof, close roof. that. Hold that. Got him. I sealed it. I sealed it here. I sealed it here. Sealed it here, good. We can push out and kill them all. They're all so sleeper, dude. Yeah, but we gotta, we gotta push out. Um, down. Oh no, where do we push out? We gotta push out over here. But we need to, we need to close this door. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We need to close this door. Let me depot this AK first. There's one garage door here. Hold up. This one we need to close. Yep. Okay. When you're ready. I think I killed two, not sure. I'm one, I'm one. Dropping down? I'm medding, I'm medding, I'm medding, I'm medding. Yeah, you dropped down. Did you drop down? Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna med and do that again. One more dead. Nice. I'm, I'm reloading and I'm gonna push again. Opening door. Another one dead. Roof, roof dead, roof dead. Clear, clear, clear. Okay. No. Another one dead. We need to put a we need to put a door on this right here. I'm holding. I'm holding. I need a double door. door is it? I need a I'm double door. I'm going to get it. I'm yep, going to get holding. it. I'm holding. Just hold. Oh please. It's a bit it's a bit difficult. Go around if you have to. Oh, there you go. That's a GG. Oh my god. Okay, How did we win that? It. How did we win that? Yes. I'm grabbing. Yes. I'm grabbing ladders. Yes. Off. I'm grabbing ladders. Off. Yes. Guys. Guys. Loot bodies. Get out of here. Still loot. Dude, I can't. Guns. I can't even. 
Okay, we need it. You need to craft garage doors. Oh wait, we can't because we don't have a tier two. <laughs> oh no, we don't even have a tier one. I right, get in here. Let's just get all the loot in first. Now, don't get me wrong here, the win was great. Things looked pretty damn grim at one point and we ended up somehow pulling out with the win. But it wasn't without loss at all. Our base was in absolute shambles. They had, they had taken over one of our external TCs and we had no workbench to our name. We were a shell of what we were previously. And we knew if we stayed here, they would either come back with enough to flatten our base or just simply offline us. So we made the difficult call to move before it was too late. We weren't giving up on the fight against this group for the quarry, we just needed to be a little bit smarter about it and bide our time a little bit more. We got very lucky here, and luck is not something I was willing to rely on for the long term. I think I might have found a really good spot actually. Look at me on the map. H6. Gas station, mill tons, close. Kind of close to G5. So in between both quarries. This is a good spot. Mm. You might as well bring any spare stones in here. Yeah, I've got it already. I think I've got it all. Alright, are we good to go? Yeah. Uh, meds are crafting. We need to know. hug the coast at J1. We can't get, like, these guys are gonna... I'm just getting two trees and running over to you. <laughs> Hooray. So we had our new base location. It was close enough to still contest V, but we weren't really backed into a corner like we were on that peninsula at the quarry. I needed room to breathe if I wanted to take the fight to them, but they knew exactly what was happening. As we filled our tugboat filled with all of our loot from our other base, they were watching with a very close eye. Wait, one of the V guys is on our target, dude. Okay, maybe we need to move loot straight away. My bed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these guys are right here. We gotta move this quickly. Yeah. We'll, we'll he would have saw you kitted inside AFK. Of where you killed that guy. He like flipped him over and looted him. I think he found one. Yeah. One, like forgot to put his hazards on or some shit. Now, quickly before we continue the video, I just want to thank today's sponsor. War Thunder is one of the most comprehensive cross-platform vehicle combat games with more than 2,000 playable tanks, aeroplanes, helicopters, and ships, all in dynamic PvP combined armed battles, with every vehicle being incredibly detailed down to their individual components. The collection of vehicles on War Thunder also spans over 100 years of development from the 1920s to present day. Match this with something I personally adore, the incredible graphics and detail all in 4K resolution, matched with authentic sound effects and amazing music, it honestly just creates an atmosphere you can fully immerse yourself into. So you can play War Thunder on PC, Xbox or PlayStation and any of the previous console generations. War Thunder is offering those who haven't played for at least 6 months a large bonus pack if you use my link in the description. This includes multiple premium vehicles and an exclusive 3D decorator for your vehicles. This is only available for a limited time. So without any further ado, let's get back into the video. Now we spent the next 10 or so hours head down grinding trying to complete our base before they could come over and give us a run for our money. And well let's just say they were doing the exact same thing we were. Their base was an absolute monstrosity by the end of day one and it actually filled me with a fair bit of worry that we might be up against something we couldn't really handle. But this village is getting quite large over here. Yep. <laughs> Who are you joking? You bloody well know I live for this shit. The bigger they build, the more satisfying the revenge. And while well, my plan for giving us room to breathe was working out perfectly. Now, my plan was actually pretty simple. We couldn't possibly take out their main base with our small group. We needed to bait them into raiding us again. And the only way we could really achieve that is by making their lives a living hell that they had to get rid of us. And the easiest way to do that was to move from the quarry to allow them to comfortably set up a little base next to it far enough from their main base for us to take advantage of. And bingo, just like that we had our weak point. The point we could press hard as only a few people, but still cause them the maximum amount of pain. So that's just what we did. Oh, someone's already laddered on the side there. Oh no, that's just on the top, I think that'll be them. They've got yeah, boxes in there, dude.
Yeah. Oh yeah, that's plenty. I should have dropped you some wood. You know, you don't need to be as you you <laughs> you don't need to be all the way up. Like I had so much room. Are you? <laughs> oh, I just wanna close my game. I just wanna close my game. You have a bag close? Yeah, old base mate. Woo! Did it. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Like, what it? Surely you make it. Oh, no. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> right, I'll be back. <laughs> Min? Maybe you just fly to the roof in a second. I might be able to pass you shit. Give me a sec. I'm just breaking one more sheet door. I think I can get my body. The yeah, you got it. Oh, unless you can. on the right side. Yeah, you just gotta go down to the wall. Oh wait, I turned off turret. Is that off? I don't know, if I peek it, I'm... I th let me peek. Oh, yeah, 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 it's all off. All go for it, go for it. Okay. Another door. I think I should go back and craft more. You wanna stay here? Back. Yeah. Nothing going on over here, guys. Nothing going on here at all. We could just break the TC and just make the yeah. tower out. Well, yeah, so and I want. Of. Yeah, I want to get the. Um, I want to pick up the turrets. That's the main thing I want. Wait, they took pills, so like they're actually on and just not hearing this shit. Well, that, no, no, they, it's too far away. Dude, we so deep already. Barrel? Oh, auto turret. Nice. No TC, but... Maybe it's connected to a random... Oh, 32 ex 34 x my back. How much x my you got on you? Okay, I know where TC is. Right here, one sheet door. Um, drop me down your SAR. Oh, <gasps> the TC had a bunch of high core ore in it. Not like a ridiculous amount, but like decent. And just like that, we had taken over their base and griefed it fairly well, to be honest. And all while they were taking the patrol helicopter, we basically did this right under their noses. And I think they had no idea at this point, which was pretty good. But it would honestly be all for nothing if we didn't take this time to run our very own diesel into high quality metal, making our base that much more difficult for them to raid. So I wanted to do just that, but they had other plans already. I think I'll go over with a small amount of diesel and just start cooking and farming over there like yeah. just like five diesel i'll go over with i think they are yeah they are okay i'm gonna depot this diesel and jackhammer right here oh they're loaded dude these russians are stacked can you, do you have a spawn here? There's a there's a body you can loot. Uh, okay. Killed him. It's just him. Yeah. Now, I did manage to kill them here while they were checking out their base, and I decided to leave the area for an hour or so and try and let it cool down a bit. But just as I was going back to finally run the quarry again. I caught them running it themselves.
you could say we were ticking these boys off here, but we were nowhere near done. You know I'm a freak when it comes to this stuff. So as Gaz went AFK, I went over to scout out their hemp base. We both wanted to raid this later on, but we figured if we did it right, we could probably do a hit and run with the car, making the impossible very possible. I just wanted to get a good idea about how we would go about it. All right, I want to sneak up to the hemp base here and see what actually design it is. Oh, there's a door open on that second floor. Could be someone in there right now. This guy's in there cooking up a storm. I might be able to door camp him here. Not sure. I can't run directly back to base. I gotta find somewhere safe to kill. Oh my god. Oh my god. I had just pulled off one of the most unlikely heists all by myself. I knew for a fact that they would be hunting me relentlessly, so I decided not really to risk it and leave my stuff under this boat for a little while and only go back with a scuba set when I knew the area had calmed down a lot. I needed these teas, and in my mind getting this home would all but confirm that they would be thirsty for that revenge. <laughs> Bingo, they're all still here. Perfect. Now, the long swim home. Oh, I can actually fool the eye vision it up, actually, if I want it. Got him. Nice. Oh, he, got a, he had a camera, spare MP5, he had all cards, he was going to do cards. Yeah, I'm running right now. Watching. And he had an LMG for us. What a nice guy. Now we continue to fight these guys at military tunnels and kill them while farming and just be general pests toward them. We were so sure a raid was coming, we prepared everything possible, and we knew these guys were at least 16 deep, so we assumed they wouldn't really wait for us to go completely offline to raid us. Oh, but I was very wrong. I went to bed around 4am, and Gaz, I think around 5am. It's like 3.30am, and seems to be like only one or two of these guys on. Pretty tired. I'm going to try and get a few hours sleep. I don't think they're going to try and offline us. I feel like they probably already would have, if they were. God. Only for me to wake up at 7am to a message that we got raided right after the daily server restart. The server pop was about 15 people and we had been offline. This was a deliberate targeting and normally I wouldn't really care but this felt bloody personal and unluckily for them they didn't get all of our loot. They left us with more than enough to rebuild. I close all of this, yeah. right? Yeah, this is all closed in. Oh, I'll keep your torch on. They blew through that. This second. Wait, maybe leave this open and so we can come in and sheet metal this. I actually cannot believe it. I woke up and I was gonna get on and check the bait. Like, oh, grab that, and I'm gonna grab some meds. Okay, that's good. Okay, so this is what we'll do. Do you want to go down into the train system and do trains? I'm gonna go get us. Um. I'm gonna go run mill tons. Yeah. Is it this shit to craft meds under the tier two? There's already meds everywhere anyway. Okay. Um. I'm gonna I go. I took run. our food. 
Oh no, they didn't. There's a bit of food. I actually think it might have been a. I think it actually might have been at like seven exactly when it was happening because we had to have time. They moved a lot of loot. Like think about all the loot. So after surveying the damage with bloodshot eyes and about three hours of sleep, I was energized with the thirst for revenge. I was going to turn up the heat, make them hate me so much more than they already did. This meant war to me, and I had a game plan. It was sneaky and it would be hard, but with the right planning, it could just work. But first, I needed to kill them a few times to let them know we weren't going anywhere and it was not going to be that easy to get rid of us. Also, I got my boy Char on at this point to give us an extra hand when things got tough. And by God, they were about to get very difficult for us. He's, he's has he farming so far? I killed him. I'm gonna loot him. He's sulfur farming. Yeah, I could I could kill one right now. Should I? Yeah, up to you. Yeah, if you have a shot, take it. Go for it. There's okay. two more. One's full kit. One's pushing you. Just so. Oh yeah, he's gone. Arctic. Get that guy behind the wall, one. Under the other. Dead. Full kit. AK over here on me. Hit four, hit four, full kit, hit four. I'm down. I can't see him, he's, he's under a ridge, hold up. Go I'm gonna go left of him and flank him. I'm holding him. Yeah, you hold him, I'm just gonna flank him. Like from oh my god, angle. I'm running. I'm running. I got full inventory He's... so far. Hit him. Headshot hit. Double nice. hit, dead it. Okay, I'm running with full inventory so far. Uh, 160. Nah. This guy yeah. has the bear, but thingy was farming. Yeah. yeah, awesome! We got another bear for so far. Woo! Yeah, we can, but... He's dead at the wood wall. Kill him, kill him both, kill him both, all dead. Just imagine, you stay up until bloody 7am to offline the three men, just to miss all of their kits, and by 8am they're outside your base killing you for your farm and kits once again. I would be fuming, and I knew they were. We even gave their hemp base a quick raid while they were still asleep from offlining us. I have a spawn right there. Oh. oh, Tara, I'm good, I'm good. However, we decided to turn our attention away from them for just a minute and focus on getting ourselves the loot we would need for a sustained battle against V. So we crafted Boom with their sulfur and got to work. Okay, this is where my rockets are going, right here. So you want to ladder on the right somewhere. Okay, I'm rocketing now. Try Guys, the yeah, roof's going to open, the roof's, roof's going to open. He's dead on roof, he's Roof's going to open here. Okay, you no longer need to hold the oh roof. Oh my god, he's got so much shit. You no longer need to hold the roof. Just hold that door, guys. He's loaded with shit. He's dead. Dead? Okay. I'm gonna nade him. I'm gonna get in there, guys. He's, if he opens, just stay out, guys. Stay out. Because if he opens, he kills himself. There's um stone on his body. You don't even have to be in there. I don't Bag myself. He's gonna open in a sec. I'm just creating some good loot. Bag. I'm just gonna check up I've here. I've got the middle. No. I think that's hit, hit that door. Like hit that door, guys. There. Hit that door. So he doesn't rocket you. Yep. Everyone move back. I've got it. He's in. Got to get the door on. Do you see? Where the Oh, look I at the bottom right! Explode. Look at bottom right! Bottom right! Holy shit! Alright, okay, we gotta seal, we gotta seal, we gotta seal. 
We gotta sail because we're gonna get countered by Russians, Canadians, Ugandans. Just, just, just get jumped out. Should I just out. do a, <laughs> a, a yeah, run? Guys, UCL. UCL, guys. This raid gave us all the components we would need and more. Enough to fully door up our base again and get a new set of auto turrets up and running. Making us once again an expensive and difficult raid. Now, while I was running around looking for V farmers, I saw a pretty unique opportunity come our way. Wait, hey, hold up. Tug on me, landing. They might be about to farm. Flying yeah. Tug? Landing. Landing, like, you know what I mean. <laughs> Dude, he's got armored doors on the back. Uh, Does someone want to get in a... Chad, do you want to get in a mini and follow this thing? Yeah, yeah, it's stopping on me. <laughs> it's pulling up right here. It stopped. They're all jumping out. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I... Maybe I could kill and just come back with AK kit as well. Now, sadly, the tug managed to just sneak away before we could board it with rockets, but this did get me thinking. This bloody thing was probably loaded, so I decided to fly around the map and look for it. And it really didn't take me long to find it on the edge of the map down south, the exact same doors on it. So we got our minis together and went for a little boarding party. I didn't bring a bag, so I figured, like, I got, I got if a I bag. die, I die. Oh, you too, it's fine. We could scuba up to it instead of. They're gonna spawn in it like instantly. Bravo team on 50 FPS. Don't peek their roof, L. Whatever you do. Right. Ready, guys? Go, go, go far back here. Okay, L, don't climb up, don't climb up. Oh my god. Nah, Alright. Could you. Take this guy's group right ahead of me, man. take that. I don't think there's anyone in there, I'm looking. No one, pushing in. No one. Loot. Loot quick. Just loot and dip. Wood. Quite lame. Get wood if they have it. Oh, Ortiz, Ortiz, Ortiz! Seven! Got him! Check all the small boxes. I'm running, oh, I'm running. Oh, hardcore. They're coming, they're coming. I jumped off. <laughs> Swim. <laughs> Swim! Go! What am I, I got I'm seven Ortiz. <laughs> yeah, just great. That's all. I got seven Ortiz. I'm happy. How much hardcore are you Are they throwing grenades in the water? Yeah. I like three added hardcore. So, at this point, we raided a decently loaded base for components and got some kits and tees off a tugboat. And, well, V knew we were back in town. Now, you're all probably wondering what was the game plan from here. We couldn't just do what we did yesterday and expect a different outcome. No, no, no. This time, we were going to take the fight to them before we slept. Now, how were we going to do this? Well, that's a fair question. Emma Lares was how. We lived next to military tunnels, arguably the easiest way to get MLRS rockets outside of a Bradley, and next to a large oil rig where we could easily get some aiming modules. Mix these two things together, and you have a bloody good time versus a clan. Only real issue here is we would be hard pressed contesting both of these monuments, and a lot rode in us winning these fights today, so we could amass enough MLRS and aiming modules to do exactly what we wanted. I see them both. I'm on crane. One sec. One dead. Nice. Last one's on. Don't die, don't die, don't die. No, I'm good, I'm good. Let me know when you're gonna peek him. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, yeah. peeking. Hit him twice. Dead. Yep. They're backing away. Yeah, okay, we good. I've got this gate. I've got the gate. I'm gonna go check. I had four AKs on him. Oh, dude, double AK crate. Another C4. <laughs> aiming that's, module. That's huge. I'm about to come out cave. I guess you could just hold the cave. It's fine. On our side of the base. Oh, we can go large as well. Perfect timing. One on my RS. Two.
We got four MLRS from this run. Pretty good. I think our best bet as well is making an MLRS base. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh my god, I'm too HP, I killed one. He was in here in a corner. I'm gonna watch I don't know toward... how he didn't kill me. I'm gonna watch toward their base. If you like, the room, dude, just quickly well. do the room because the room's on our side. Yeah, I'll see if I can just go one full kit coming. One full kit and one has it. Yeah, yeah, sort of. But there's one full kit, one has it. And then swipe it. Good full kit. Full kit dead. Is he dead? I'm gonna hold cave for you. Are you where are you at now in the process Going of it? In blue. One's on me coming around the corner of the I'm in the cave. They both jumped on you. I don't know how they knew I was there though. There's three of them. Come up here? Tell me when I see him. As he's leading. Full kit dead? Where's, he, where's... Yeah, nice. Has he's in the like oh. on top of the silo. Oh my god, I'm good. On top of the silo, you said, okay. He's behind the back wall. There, that one dead? Nice. Yeah, yeah. There's one more pushing, full kit pushing over, I think. I'll watch over here. You get to loot. You have looted this guy? I think he's in there, he's in there. I doubled him. He'd be low, he'd be stinging. Above you, Tesla, above you, above you! Above me, dead. Nice, nice. Dead to the bus stop. Hit him three times. Got him. Got him both. Yeah. I'm just down on the. Yeah, hill. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go pick Gaz. Try and. I'm full invent, so Gaz is gonna have to loot. I can oh, loot the bus stop. I need his ammo okay. anyway. Another one at um trainer. Oh. He's dead. Yeah, finished him. I'm healing. Gaz, I'm leaving your body here. We were doing pretty bloody well here and after a few runs of both monuments we had two full volleys of MLRS, enough to do a decent amount of damage and this is where I had a fairly enlightening conversation with one of the V members. He started asking us if we were ready for an offline raid and admitting that they offlined us before and they would most likely do it again. This conversation was not a very great outlook for us. Ah, I knew they offlined us. Well, there's our confirmation on what happened. So it was 100% them who offlined us and they were gunning to do it again and they had zero regret for what they did. This basically meant we had to execute our plan tonight. We didn't have enough time to get a crap load of MLRS. We would be lucky to even wake up to a base tomorrow. So we set up a little 2x2 next to the military base in preparation for what was to come. Hey, come in. Come in, come in, come in. Here, yeah, oh, make yourself a box with like that, I guess. Oh, just place it anywhere, it's just one box, it doesn't matter. Um, I'll drive the mini back, I guess. Now, right about now, a bunch of you Rust players are probably chomping at the bit asking, what about their SAM sites? How the hell are you going to get past them? Well, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret here. Flame arrows work a charm versus those things worth 500 scrap, and you risk basically nothing doing it. There's two grab an arctic suit boys. Here you go. Oh wait, give me that. Give me those back. Give me half of it. Give me some of those. Back. Wait, you like crafted some more arrows. Yeah, yeah. I've got heaps. That's why you give me yeah. heaps back. How much do you have? I gave you all of them. Okay, take that. How much do you have, guys? My bag right here. Oh, one's out. Everyone hide. Everyone hide at this rock. One's out to our left. He's coming up the river. Everyone hide. We should just be able to run toward their base now. 
Yeah, he's up the hill now, we good. Okay, let's go grab this, let's get the Sam site first. Hopefully he was the only one in the base. There's only like four on... So, oh, dude, that bolty turret's off over there. System set well, up we can hit it from here. One. We can hit it from here. There we go. Oh. Come, come right more. Doesn't look like there's anyone else on here then. See, I think he's half my arrows. Yeah. One's on the roof. Right, yeah, just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. <laughs> <laughs> this one's going to be on. We should be able to get two down. Yeah, there we go. Anyone got spare arrows? Nah, they got I got six. Like, I got 20 out. Okay. Sort of half. Oh, he's up there. For oh, shit. Okay. Okay, let's support. I'm going to support him. Triple body him. With Tron. I got it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I think we almost did it for uh, Let's put him on the timer. Let's <laughs> get breaking it. That shit. I'm watching it, let's see how it goes. There's a couple on the roof. I'm gonna get hit markers, hopefully. There it is! Wait, Man, the Sam's aren't on. Oh, hey, oh, hey, Sam's aren't on. Dude, dude, it broke them all. I power. killed them all. They 99% of them hit the ult. Yep. Uh, Dude, we do another, we do another volley now. Yeah, yeah. the Sam's not even powered. Um, you should be fine now. Yeah. You gave up. Oh, I hit him. I hit him all. Yeah. Oh my god. And I hit so many uh, good moves. Oh my god, I'm getting so many hit markers. Two or three missed, but Dude, half their roof's that, gone. Look at that roof. Oh my god, their whole roof is open. I'm full heavy. I'm full heavy. So we managed to rough up their base a lot, destroyed probably 2,000 scrap worth of helis, sand sites and windmills. God knows we were going to get offlined by these losers. So I decided to do the most demon sleepless thing I could possibly do and wake up at 6am on basically no sleep again to foil their plans. And well, it worked like a charm. This guy's trying to offline me again. I think they're trying to bring my SAM sites with Ensign rockets. Now, this wasn't the first offline attempt this night. Char actually scared them off a few hours earlier, then went to sleep, and just as I got on, I caught them instant rocketing out our SAMs. Now, I actually wanted them to commit to this raid. I didn't want to keep playing this game of cat and mouse with them, so I messaged the group chat and told the boys what was going on and waited patiently for them to actually commit with Boom. I'm going to explode raiding a hatch. The hatch that looks down onto our roof. What? Yeah. Yeah, they're blowing the hatch so they can get down. Dude, it gets to like 12. No, they're grenading. No, they're just exploring. Oh, okay. One's got NVGs on the roof. Yep, launcher on his back. He'll get this first guy in and then he'll hopefully go back for the second guy. Come on, big boy. Dude, this guy is so bad at flying. Oh, he's completely landed now. Okay, does somebody want to sit here and hold their... Here, Char, take this. Want to kill them? They've got rockets on them. Yeah, I'm literally one door until them. Like, I'm sitting at the door to the roof, like the one they didn't raid. I'm gonna just. I'm waiting for them to rocket. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's my bad gun. Okay, I'm spawning. Um, outer. No go. Roof. They don't hear me. Pretty sure I could just open and kill Yeah, whenever. go, go. I almost killed one. Go, go, go. Oh, one more. Yeah, 
Hold up. Yeah, he's running up to the roof. Yeah, he's gonna be on the roof now. One dead. One more there. That's. Oh no, I think they're all dead. That's two dead, right? Yeah, they're all dead. Yeah, they're all dead. So two C4, one rocket, and that's it. Now, I'm not kidding when I say this is one of the most annoying type of offline raids possible. We got a few rockets off them, but nothing special really. They were just going to commit a little bit at a time, and if we ever got on, they would just run for the hills. A sad, sad way to play Rust. But alas, there's not much we could really do about it. However, we were happy with our wipe at this point, and decided to give all of our loot away and let them raid a completely empty base. I feel like that would be a pretty good revenge. To finish off this video, I want you guys to check out War Thunder today, using my link in the description. Remember, if you haven't played for at least 6 months, you can get a large bonus pack including multiple premium vehicles and exclusive 3D decorators for those vehicles. And this is only available for a limited time.